Somebody that started every Sunday, started every time the game is, but still got a bad attitude. And see, he affected the whole team with his bad attitude because somebody that might not be more qualified than you are, but yet still got a bad spirit. When he get up, come on, somebody, he, he still cheering you on, and he already know that you and you want him in the game, but yet still, he's still telling you to go on. That when we're in the church, come on somebody, when your brothers and sisters going forth, you ought to be saying, go ahead, you ought to be pushing them, you ought to be saying, go ahead and obey God, go ahead and obey God, push them, you should be pushing them, should be pushing them, I'm telling them to keep going on it, and quit trying to get to the point, come on somebody, that we are fighting one another. Let me, let me get this and I'm going to let you go right here. Exodus real quickly. The Lord said there are three confirmations that God said he's going to do. Somebody said three confirmations that God is about to do it. Do you believe that tonight? Exodus the 33rd chapter Exodus deals with Depart. Simply means the exit out. They came out of the land of Egypt. Come on, somebody. They departed from it. Moses was raised up for such a time as that. To bring the people that God was in covenant with. To bring them out of bondage. Because they was in bondage for what? 400 and some years. When you're in bondage, you're held against your will. you in a type of captivity. Amen. Meaning that you can't break yourself loose. Amen. And they was in this state for 400 and some years. And the Bible said one day they cried by reason of their own fiction. And the Lord said, Moses, surely I've seen the affliction of my people in Jacksonville, Florida. Y'all be helping me up here. And I'll send you down there, y'all ain't like in the text, to bring them out of the bondage of oppression that they in. And Moses said, well, when I go down there, they ain't going to receive me because they ain't going to know who I am. So he said, who do I tell them when I go down there? He said, just tell them I am that I am. You don't have to answer no question. You don't have to validate who you are. Come on, somebody. Because what I'm going to do in that land is going to validate. Come on. Who I am. Touch your neighbor's a neighbor. You don't have to impress people with your titles and, and tell somebody you're prophet is a, a pastor evangelist. Your words don't speak for itself. And that's why Jesus declared that if you don't know me for nothing else, know me for my very words. Say. We want to impress folks by what we know, but don't have no works behind it. Y'all ain't happy to be up in here. And Jesus said, the works that he did, we shall do even greater. That's why I said, you ought to be doing some greater works. You know, it ought not be hard for you to win a soul for this ministry. Every time you wake up, and every time you confront it on the job, you ought to tell somebody about the hope that's in you. You ought to tell somebody, like the man of God said, I was an ex crack at it, but God saved me. You ought not be afraid to tell your testimony of what God did for you. I ain't afraid to tell nobody that I was a drug dealer. Come on. Yeah, yeah, because I was pushing the hard dump, but now I'm pushing hope. You ought to get me up in here today. That's what God deliver you. You're not ashamed to tell somebody where you came from. But if you're ashamed to tell somebody, it might be a possibility that you're still in it. Because we still overcome by the words of a testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. But today, so don't be afraid to tell them. Quit sitting up in here with your shirt face on. Act like you ain't never did nothing. Quit sitting up in here. Act like you all holding it down. That you ain't had no type of issue. Oh God, that you've been saved all your life. You better give God the praise. And say, if it had not been for the Lord, I would be sitting here today. I thank God that one day I was a wretch of God. I thank God that I was in CML. I was messed up for the floor. And I fell in the hot altar one day. And God saved me. Deliver me. And feel me. With the power of the Holy Ghost, and I'm not ashamed 
about the gospel of God. For there's the power to God. I'm to the Jew. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here today. Somebody say I'm not a shame. Why you let people put shame upon you and you feel sorry about when you came out of you? Thank God that you came out of it. There are some people that come out. Yeah, thank God you came out that abusive relationship. And then you got a testimony. Yeah, thank God that he snatched you out of that bed. I don't know why you sit here crying. Ain't no sitting crying over that bed. Still, man. Yeah, thank God that he let you marry there. Yeah, thank God that he let you stay in there. Yeah, thank God that he let you stick with your life. And that's why you could testify that God is good. That's why David said, on page 16, that the Lord he is good. Pastor David said, I know he's good. He rested me out of something. Shats me out of something. I never had to bow, but Jesus set me free. I got somebody say, he had me bow, but Jesus lifted me. He brought me out with a strong hand. Pastor David he brought me out with a strong hand. Why well, feel the Holy Ghost? But it got so sedated. But it got to the point now that we are afraid to tell something. We quiet on the job. Y'all ain't happy to be up. What are you telling me? They, 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 they tell you can't talk about Jesus, but you, 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 can, you can cuss on the job, but you're afraid. They tell some of your God, the people don't even know you're saved on the job. You act like, you know, what happened to your life? You are the light of the world. Somebody said, you are the light of the world. A city that sit on the hill that cannot be here. Let your light so shine before me that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in here. We sit here with no testimony. Sit here act like we're in the king's camp. Sit here act like we defeated someone. You forgot the God that you serve. You better tell the devil he is alive. Great as he is in you, then the devil is in the world. You better come to the point and say, I'm more than a conqueror. It don't matter where I'm at right now, it's about to get better. I didn't go through all this hell. You could lose out right now. The devil is enough. This food shall pass. Somebody said, I'm going to get over this. Ain't going to always be broke. Ain't going to always be disgusted. Ain't going to always be. But this too shall pass. If he brought me out last year, he can bring me out again. My God, if he blessed me last year, he can bless me again. Because the blessing of the Lord is about to make me richer. And I didn't know how feel like this is the It was God coming to people. And God saw the people begin to cry. Now there's a cry in the hearts of God's people. And any time there's a cry, he going to respond to your cry. One thing about God, the book said, meaning of the fiction of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them. I don't know why you think you ain't going to come out of what you eat. I don't know why you think you're going to stay bound about when there's an anointed that will set you free. I don't care what you get yourself in. You serve a God that's able to bring you out of anything. That's why Abraham asked the question, is there anything too hard for the Lord? You have to touch somebody and say, is there anything too hard for God? Uh, somebody will tell you, I can confess today, there's nothing too hard for my God. I don't care about the economic system. I don't care about John shutting down. I heard David said I once was young. And now I'm older. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, my seed begging for bread. Oh, God, he said, no good thing when he went home from those that woke up right before God. Touch your neighbor and say, God's going to vindicate for me. He's going to make provision for me. I don't care what shut up. I don't care what dried up. Your book might draw up, but I'll stop by to tell you that still a lily in every valley. You ought to give God the praise and say, God is about to make a way. I feel like giving God the praise. Can I preach this thing like I'm feeling? Watch what he says. I'm trying to get to my text. Listen, I feel like coasting this thing. Is that all right? Children Israel was in covenant. Yes. Somebody say covenant. Say so I'm in covenant with Bishop Ben. Ain't about to break no covenant and go to another church. Okay, how many times I get rebuked? 
I don't care if I ain't losing my gift right now. I'm going to stay rooted and planted. I'm going to stay steadfast and unmovable. Always abiding in the work of the Lord. For which is you know my, I don't care who come, how gifted, how talented they are. I got to go wait to my time. Y'all ain't never be up in here today. And I'll stop and I'll tell you that the last still shall be heard. And the first shall be last. Touch it as I may come at the last hour. But everything that a man would do to the eldest son, he still gonna give it to me. Can I stop and I'll tell you that God is not a respectable person. What he do for one, he shall do for another. You ought to praise him on the beat. like they running before me because I still know my gifts shall make room for me and they shall bring me before great men do you believe that in this house and what you got to understand your gift don't I, it, when it says gift it ain't got something to do with preaching sometimes got some doors of financial opportunity that your gift about to make room for you there's some places that he about to open up for you that's it's been shut in your face. Can I heard him say if you knock the door shall come open? Seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Knock in the door shall come. I feel like preaching in here. I'm trying to post this. Watch what he says to you. Let's get it. He says to you right there in the third, third chapter. I got to get out of here. My time is up. The 12th chapter, 33 and 12. And Moses said, unto the Lord, see, and Bishop said unto the Lord, see, that said unto me, bring up these people. So I said, you can't stay down there alone no more. It's time, it's time for you to come up now. You've been complaining too long. But this revival is challenging you this week. That you got to come up in your spirit. You got to come up in your responsibility. You got to come up in your commitment. You got to come up in your dedication. You got to come up in your consecration. You got to come up in your prayer life. You can't stay in the shape that you're in. You got to come up here time. Watch what it says. Says. See that unto me. Bring up these people that has not let me know whom thou was sent with me. Watch what he said. Yet thou hast said, you keep saying. <laughs> I didn't say it, you said. Come on. I know you by name. Yes. And I'm a I don't have to ask nobody who you are. Uh -huh. I know your sales level. Uh -huh. I know your work level. Uh -huh. I know everything in the box. Yeah. And he already told you, I ain't going to make your titles great. I'm going to make your name great. God bless you. This is Apostle DeMond Tolliver from the Abundance Record Ministry in the city of Dallas, Texas. I'm so delightful and grateful to God that he has blessed me to write this great book. That's right. Break it on Godly Soul Tides. Many people that's been affected by, amen, being an ungodly soul time. You need to purchase this book. It's going to be a great, great blessing to you. Many people that have been dealing with ungodly relationships, you need to purchase this book. It's going to give you clarity. It's going to give you a revelation about what it means to be in ungodly relationship and being affected by ungodly soul time. Listen here. You need to get this book. It's going to bless your heart real, real good. This is Apostle DeMond Tolliver. God bless you. Come on and push it right there. Push it, push it. Hallelujah. Come on, show us the love. Restoration. Restoration is taking place right there. Hallelujah. Look what the Lord is doing. Restoration. Come on, come on, come on. The devil is giving it all complete. He can't have that young chosen vessel. In the name of Jesus, the prayers of the righteous is still available much. Oh God, look what the Lord is doing for him now. Yes, yes. Healing is taking place. Restoration is taking place. Every doubt of the enemy is being pulled out of him now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, come on, what the Lord is doing for him now. Hallelujah, come on and praise him. Come on and praise the Lord. Come on and praise the Lord. Come here, Lord of God. Let me pray for you before I go. Come on, let me pray for you. Come on, let me give God the praise. Oh, I 
of Jesus right now. Lord said, but he's dead. It's hindering. He's there, let it go. He said, I want to wash you to clean it. Hallelujah. He said, quit rehearsing. And let God renew your mind tonight. He's been tormenting your mind for the last two days. And you haven't been getting the rest that you need but tonight. He's about to give you a sweet rest. You better set your alarm clock tonight. I feel the words. Because Jesus is about to give you a sweet And he's about to call you to think of the things that are good for us. Cut loose the negativity of the people that's been around you. Change your environment to the night. Hallelujah to God because there's about to, God about to give you a breakthrough. Someone said a breakthrough for you. Someone said a breakthrough for her. When I lay hands upon you, the night of the spirit will have raised you down every false burden. And I feel the spirit of God and every gift that's been laid in God is about to react to me. Someone give God the praise. Someone said the Lord is tonight. Someone said I'm being laid. Oh, I feel it right there. Let it do it for you right there. The Spirit of the Lord. Oh, I feel it right there. I feel it. Shout. Somebody give a praise tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody give a praise tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, some people are healed. Russell, what's in the day? You say, Prince, I've been dealing with some bodies and some, some addiction in my life. But you say, Lord, I need some real deliverance tonight. I've been dealing with some addiction. I want you to come tonight. You say, Lord, I've been trying to come out of some things, but it's been, it's been hard for me. And he said, he didn't come to me, I would have no one else. Somebody said, I would have no one else casting out. It's been pretty hard for the saints of God. Robbery for our dissolution. It's a coming out. Your bishop, he cares that much about you. That he wants to see you get everything that God has for you. He don't want you to go another year staying in a place. He wants you to have two relationships with you. And what the Lord is doing to us in this meeting, he's a rebirth of church in us. He's giving us. A true foundation. That he's bringing the spirit of limitation and mediocrity in our life. He's giving us to a place of total surrender to him. Giving our heart to him. Bringing our heart and our garment. Come on to the altar right now. We're going to lift your hand. Don't be afraid. Come with great expectation. Expecting God to do it. Don't come here. None of us worthy of nothing God could do for us. Amen. Say, we are none of us worthy of what God can do for Lift the hands to Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, God. Hallelujah. <laughs> lift the hands to Jesus. Holy I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Oh, Baba. Shout out. Oh, Baba. Baba. Shout out. Oh, Baba. Baba. Shout out. Oh, Baba. Shout out. Oh, Baba. Baba. Shout out. Oh, Baba. Shout out. Oh, Baba. Baba. Shout out. Oh, Baba. Baba. Shout out. Oh, Baba. 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 Shout out. Baba. 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 Shira ba 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 osha na kamira ba 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 osha na ba ba si. Wo ba 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 I refuse to leave this all in the same way I can. Oh, I came tonight because I've come to give a toy to Jesus tonight. Oh, my God, I feel the spirit of the Lord. 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 Shh, make it God to praise. Deliver Jesus. Oh, God, let him do it for you right here, though. Deliver us right now. Get it, man. Lose her tonight. God. Hallelujah. This is God. I'm tired. I'm tired. Do it tonight, Jesus. Oh, God, do it tonight. Come on, let him do it for you tonight. 
Hallelujah. Come on, let's ask. Somebody give God the praise. Somebody give God the praise. Hallelujah. Come on, there it is. In the name of Jesus. Lose something. Lose something. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I give it to Jesus tonight. Open your hands and say, Lord, here I am tonight. There it is right there. I feel, I feel your being destroyed. Oh, God, there it is. Loose of an eye. Yes, yes, yes. Touch. Oh, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, I feel the Holy Ghost. Touch me right now, God. Touch me right now. Touch me right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. Touch me right now. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands up. Clean it up tonight, Jesus. Set it free by the power of God. Say you got the loose of the night. Loose the night. In the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight, God. We praise you tonight, God. Come on, give God the praise tonight.
This is miracle of the temple. Come on, you got the prayer. Somebody said miracles are being performed. You want to give God the praise right there. Hallelujah. Somebody give God the praise. Somebody give God the praise. You want to give God the praise. You deserve. You deserve to give God the praise. You deserve to give God the praise. Come on, he didn't have it to praise us. Come on, you can do better than that. Lift your hands and give God the praise. Lift them hands and give God the praise tonight. Somebody being healed all in this room. Somebody say he's healing tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The Spirit of the Lord is healing you tonight. He's making you whole right there. He's making you whole right there. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God said, don't be weary in the Lord. He said, if I have not given you the spirit of weary. But he said, trust him like you never trusted before. He said, he released it tonight. All of the fears. He's releasing all of the false burdens. Because God said, I'm giving you eyes to see the river and spirit. And God said tonight, I'm sharpening your discernment. There's a lot of things that you have to cast in the river and spirit. God said tonight, you rising up. Here by my body, with a newness. God said, new and fresh. Here by my body, my God, you have a God said, he's about to save in your household. Here by my own shot. Because of your sanctification. Because of your holy living. He's about to break in your house. Go out, And wealth is about to be released in your life. No more struggles. I said, no more struggles. 